hi guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are just going to look at how to set an expiration date for your robot i know somebody asked this on a previous video how to set uh, the expiration date on your forex robot let's say you probably are making a robot and you want people to always what to renew their licenses or maybe you want to give somebody a trial version you want to give them a trial version where they can actually test your robot maybe for a month and if it's working out for them then they can come back and buy the full license version so how do you put an expiration date on your forex robot that's what we are going to look at into in this uh, quick uh, video this is actually a robot that uh, I was showing you, I think it was about uh, trailing stops, yes, it was about trailing stops. If you are wondering about how to add trailing stops uh, to your Forex robots, uh, that's the video that we were making, it's actually live on this channel, just go and look at that video. If you are new on this channel, please consider subscribing so that you do not miss any of our future videos. Like the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. There are a lot of questions that I usually get and some of the things we have already covered them so that's why sometimes I don't respond to them. Some of them I'm still yet to get to them because I always try to find time to do these things. So not uh, saying too much uh, let's get into today's uh, video. So we have this uh, robot that we're creating. Um, let's say theoretically that's our robot that we were uh, creating you have done everything you have set up your robot and everything is uh, good and fine now how do we put in an expiration a date for our robot what you are going to do is you are going to be in the builder section it needs to say builder here you are going to be in the builder section of your uh, EA uh, basically like what I'm looking at here so what it means is you actually need to create a free account on FX uh, Dreamer or you can create uh, the subscribed account uh, the paid account if you also want to make robots for uh, MetaTrader 5 or to convert MetaTrader 4 robots to MetaTrader 5 and stuff like that but here we are doing we are using the free uh, account so it's still possible to do that now once you are in your builder section what you just need to do after filling everything compiling your robot putting all the blocks together what you just need to do even before you do that maybe as a first step depending on your processes when you are making your robots is you want to go to this section where it says projects where it says projects then you want to scroll to this section that says options then where it says project options then you are going to click on project options and just click on that you see the window that pops up this is the window that popped up I'm trying to seems i can't uh, increase the size of this uh, block but i hope you can see it so the first thing that you can see is that we can set a magic number for this particular project we can set a magic number uh, set it to whatever you want it to set magic numbers are important because that's how your robot can identify the particular trades that it placed for things like trailing stops uh, stop losses and stuff like that so that it can manage those trades that it placed in case you are running several robots on your chart so magic number is important now here you can actually see it says expiration date and they actually have given you a format that you need to put the expiration date in so you can say for example 2022 2022 uh, dot uh, let's just say uh, December 31st 
or is it 30th let's just uh, make it 30th then you basically leave uh, you can do basically everything else that you want to do here for example copyright you can put in yourself let's say copyright uh, John Industries uh, John Industries all this information is going to appear when this is uh, information that's going to appear when a person loads the robot uh, on uh, their charts uh, let's say uh, robot for trading VIX 75 then you can put in even your website address here uh, let's let's just say www.johnindustries industries.com or maybe you you just want to put in your facebook uh, address uh, whatever face uh, book uh, maybe i don't know i don't know about uh, if i'm using the correct format maybe facebook.com slash john industries or something like that i don't even know then here you can actually uh, uh, tell the user what fashion they have maybe this is 1.0 maybe this is 1.0 so uh, they know that this is 1.0 or maybe you uh, you you say uh, uh, trial uh, trial but that's basically what you can use in uh, this uh, section so what you just need to do what was important for us is actually this uh, section i was just showing you this other stuff is extras but what's important is this uh, section here is where you can set the expiration date for this particular robot so basically once you are done we just click update and it's saved then we're going to export our robot when we are going to export our robot it's going to carry that expiration date then you can give your robot to people to test it out uh, if with basically the trial license you've just given basically a trial robot that they can use until the 30th of december uh, of this year if uh, they load the robot after that it's going to tell them that it's expired they can't use it then if they still want to use uh, your robot let's say it's a good robot then they can come back and ask you for uh, the full robot which will probably just remove the expiration date and you give them the full robot like the video subscribe leave your questions again your comments and everything in the comment section below i hope this video is of some help to you guys guys i will see you in the next one bye